hello guys welcome to this java tutorial for beginners in our today's video we will talk about how to override equals method of object class in java so without wasting time let's get started now in one of our previous video we have already seen that the equals method of object class is used to check if two reference variable refer to same object or not so here in this case the statement on line 18 will print false as a1 and a2 refer to different object although they are initialized with the same value of 2 and our statement on line 19 will print true as a2 and a3 refer to the same object so let me run this program now now let me compile and execute the program so let me run it and as you can see we have the output as false and true now let us see how we can change the default behavior of this equals method so let us see how we can override the equals method of object class now let us look at the signature of equals method so the signature is public boolean equals and inside my round bracket i pass the object and one thing you must note is that the name of class is object right if you write any other classes then it will become method overloading rather than method overriding right now if you look at the method body then the first statement will check if object belongs to a particular class or not and it will also check for the null value and if this condition is true then we shall return false right otherwise in the next statement we will cast this object to the specific type right and finally we will compare the primitive values and return the output so if the primitive values are equal then we shall return as true otherwise false will be right so here in this example we will check if the value of our i variable is same for two objects or not all right so now if the values of two variables are same then the statement a1 dot equals a2 should print true as well right so let me run this program once again now let me compile and execute the program so let me run it and as you can see we have the output as true and true all right so that is it for the today's video and don't forget to subscribe for more java programming videos like this and i will see you until next time